Hi, and welcome back. Good utilities are crucial for creative signal flow within the module, and thus for interesting sound design. Today, we'll have a closer look at Archon from Maelstrom, pushing the boundaries when it comes to what's possible with a single utility module. It's got two channels, each able to tackle basic utilitarian functions like attenuate, invert, mix and add or generate offset. This alone gives excellent control over your voltages. But each channel is based around a voltage controlled polarizer, so they can also function as things like a regular VCA and voltage controlled inverter. On top of that, the module can be used to gain and clip, wave shape, distort and ring modulate. As always, if you like to support my videos or you want to get access to PDF sheets with hundreds of patch ideas I used in my videos, have a look at my Patreon. You can also support my channel through affiliate links in the video description. But now, let's dive right in. In the first two chapters, I'll go over all the functions and features of the module. But as always, you can use the timeline if you prefer to jump straight to patch ideas. The module has two channels. Channel A here on the top half and channel B on the lower half. These are identical and capable of all the same things. Let's start with the basics, the inputs of a single channel. There's a main input here with a gain control and output here. Let's patch a sine wave LFO to the input and the output to the scope. You can use the gain control to attenuate the signal, but it's capable of amplifying by four, so it's very possible to achieve symmetrical clipping. Unity gain is here at the second line. With this switch, you can invert the incoming signal and again use the gain to attenuate or amplify it. The second input is called bias and slightly different. If you patch another signal, for example a faster saw wave, you can mix that signal with the main input. This small bipolar attenuator can be used to add a positive amount or inverted amount to the mix. When nothing is patched into this input, it's normal to do an internal offset voltage. So by using the bipolar attenuator, you can add an offset voltage to the signal, for example to bring this subtle sine wave LFO into the positive range, or subtract an offset voltage and bring the LFO into the negative range. Depending on the amount of offset voltage and the gain used for the main input, this can lead to a lot of asymmetrical clipping and fun wave shaping. Before I dive into detailed patches later, that clipping is a good thing. It can be used as a wave shaper for CV signals, for example this sine wave modulating a filter. But it's great on audio as well. Here I run a full synth voice through the input to distort it. So this small section of each channel alone can do mixing, attenuating, inverting, offset generation, wave shaping, clipping and distortion. And with some clever patching, the wave shaping and clipping can be modulated through the bias input. But modulation possibilities open up with the next section. This part of each channel is called the modulation section. It modulates the mix of the input and bias section. There's a CV input with curvature trimmer. This input is a voltage polarizer. That means that positive voltages amplify the mix in a positive or regular way, and negative voltages amplify the mix in a negative or inverted way. The modulation strength knob effectively crossfades between the clean mix on the left and the mix amplified by the CV input fully to the right. So, with the knob to the left and two oscillators patched to the input and bias, the mix is available at the output, with nothing patched at the CV input, turning the knob crossfades to the mix amplified by zero, so it will effectively attenuate the mix. But when you send something like a regular positive voltage from a looping envelope to the modulation input, the control knob fades in the modulation until it works like a standard VCA. When you use a bipolar audio rate signal like a sine wave to modulate audio, 
it works like a ring modulator. And when you use control voltages, like a looping envelope at the input, and again use a bipolar signal like a slow sine wave LFO to modulate it, it works like a classic polarizer, sweeping the incoming envelope from positive to negative. The curvature trimmer sets the shape response of the polarizer and is a rather unique feature. It has different effects and possibilities depending on how you patch Archon. It can be used to shape the tone of audio or ring mod sounds. Or push the curves of modulation signals and sources from sharp to more organic. Finally, before we dive into detailed patches, if the output of channel A isn't patched, it's mixed in with the output of channel B. So you can use both channels of Arcan as a 4 to 1 mixer, or for complex modulation. Arcan is great as a go-to module for basic utilities, like mixing, inverting and offset. But in this video I'll focus more on the interesting and unique possibilities of Arcan. Here a simple voice is made with a sequencer, oscillator and bandpass filter. Arcan is used as a mixer and wave shaper to create an interesting modulation signal modulating the filter. A sine wave LFO is used as the input. The LFO is synced to a multiplication of the sequencer's clock. The input gain is turned up a bit, so the sine wave is slightly clipping. A slow triangle LFO is sent to the bias, moving the sine wave up and down, creating heavy asymmetrical clipping. In all the patches in this video, the output of Arcan is multiplied to a scope like this. So you can see what's going on, but it's not shown in the other patches. Here is the same setup, but another faster sine wave LFO is added modulating the CV input. This adds another layer of depth to the shapes. You can experiment with all sorts of shapes and signals. In this setup two sine waves from the same LFO are used. One as input and one inverted version to modulate the CV. A fast looping envelope is sent to the bias to mix in some audio rate modulation. Again the modulation and curve control allow you to shape the modulation in depth. is a setup utilizing Arcan as mixer and polarizer. A simple sequenced voice is used and Arcan is modulating the filter and the wave shape of the oscillator. A sequencer's clock is sent to a clock divider. A fast division is triggering an envelope sent to the input of Arcan. A slower gate division is used as modulation source and mixed in with the signal via the bias input. Finally, a slow unsynced sine wave is modulating the CV input. This slowly morphs the mix from a regular to inverted modulation source. Here's the exact same patch, but with a different speed and sequence. 
In setups like these, the curve control has a lot of effect on the resulting modulation. In this setup, a simple voice with oscillator and filter is controlled with a keyboard. Arcan is used to create a complex audio rate signal to modulate the filter. A simple audio rate LFO is used as the input and the base of the signal. A slow triangle LFO is sent to the bias to create modulated clipping of the audio rate signal. The keyboard is used to trigger an ADSR envelope and that envelope is modulating the CV input. With the modulation knob to the right that functions like a regular VCA. The signal is sent to the second channel of Arcan, used as a simple mixer. It mixes the audio rate signal from the first channel with a copy of the envelope. So, when you press a key, the envelope opens the filter and functions as a VCA, opening audio rate modulation to the filter as well. Here is a variation to that patch. Again, a keyboard is controlling a simple voice and an envelope opening Arcan used as a VCA to allow an audio rate signal to pass on. This time though, it's modulating the wave shape of an oscillator. Again, an LFO is used to clip and modulate the audio rate wave via the bias input. In this setup though, that LFO is sent through the second channel of Arcan first and the input gain is used to boost that signal a lot. This clipping turns a simple wave into a heavy pulse width modulation effect. Finally, the mod wheel of the keyboard is controlling the frequency of the second LFO. It's also fun to derive sequences from gate patterns. In this setup, a 5-step gate sequencer is used as the input. That drives another 5-step sequencer mixed in at a different level via the bias input. And finally, a third 8-step sequence is sent to modulate the CV input. The result is used to modulate a filter in a simple voice. In this setup, the modulation control can be used to blend between a 5-step pattern or that pattern gated with an 8-step sequence creating interesting shifts. Of course, all these examples are just starting points. It's nice to derive sequences from patterns you use elsewhere in your patch. For example, you can have all the sequencers trigger drum samples as well and use a 5-step CV sequence to create a melody for the main oscillator to turn this into a more musical idea. Each of the channels on Arcon can be used separately for any of its functions. Here, a simple voice is patched to a clock and quantizer. The quantizer I use, however, only responds to positive voltages. To create interesting melodic sequences, channel A of Arcan is used with a sow wave LFO as the input, and a slow bipolar sine wave is used to modulate the CV. This creates a sow wave LFO that morphs from rising to falling, which is what I want, but again my quantizer can't handle the negative voltages. So the output of channel A is mixed with channel B. There I can add offset to lift the sequence into the positive range. To add some motion, the clock is triggering an envelope opening the filter, and a simple slow LFO is modulating the filter as well.
begin, you can experiment and expand on these patches. For example, a regular 8-step sequencer to the CV input of the second channel clocked by the master clock. In this setup, the input gain of the second channel controls the amount of the sequence created by the flipping saw wave LFO. And the modulation control can fade in the 8-step sequence. about creating melodies like this with quantizers, or if you'd like to see a lot of patches with ideas for basic functions like mixing, attenuating and offset, have a look at any of these videos later. Archon is also very suitable for audio duties, both basic as well as complex signal mangling. That lifts it far beyond of what a basic utility module can do. Archon can do all sorts of valuable basic audio duties. In this setup, a simple synth voice is sent to the input of a single channel and mixed with a noisy field recording into the bias input. A copy of the envelope is used to modulate the CV input. So, a single channel of Archon is used as audio mixer and end of chain VCA. Here, Archon is used as a ring modulator. A carrier sine wave oscillator is sent to the input and the modulation sine wave oscillator to the CV input. You can do all regular ring mod sounds like this, but just like with CV signals, you can use the gain and bias control to create clipping. And the curve control adds variation to the way the carrier is modulated, and thus the sound as well. In this patch, I also use a filter. When you mess with offset voltages on audio, it's possible your signal will end up off-center like this. As long as it isn't clipping, this won't affect how the audio sounds. And, of course, with Archon, making a signal intentionally clip can lead to great results. To avoid signals with a strong offset entering non-modular gear though, it's well advised to send the audio through a module that removes the offset gain and places the distorted audio in the center. Most dedicated modular audio mixers and filters would do this. Here is a similar concept, but instead of a clean wave, an entire sequence synth voice is used as the input. A sine wave oscillator is used to modulate the sound, and that oscillator is sequenced from the main sequencer as well. Again, you can crossfade between the clean signal and the modulated one, and you can manually distort the signal by applying a lot of gain to the input. you can experiment with different setups. For example, here the synth voice from the previous patch is sent to the CV input. With a manual set bias, this results in a clean audio signal. In this setup though, the curve control influences the audio directly. And again, you can experiment by sending other signals, like the second oscillator, to the input. Again, a filter is used as well. Thank you. 
this setup, two channels of Arcan are used. The first channel isn't patched, so the setup can function as a four channel mixer. There are two oscillators with slightly different tuning. A regular and sub output of each of them are sent to a channel of Arcan. The mix is used in a simple voice with filter, envelope and sequencer tuning both oscillators. Finally, a third sequenced oscillator is modulating the CV input of channel A. Using the modulation controls, you have manual control over a very wide range of sounds. Feedback patches are also easy with Arcon and can be set up in many different ways. Here is a basic example with an oscillator at the input of channel A, passing on to a filter. A multiplication of the filter output is sent to the input of channel B and that signal is mixed in with the main signal via the bias input of channel A to create feedback. The gain on the input of B can be used to distort the signal used for feedback and you can use the CV input of channel B as a VCA to control the feedback amount, for example with a looping envelope. I was so impressed by this module, I now own two of them. I need good utilities in every case, but because the module can do so much more, I will find a use for it in every patch. Here are the videos I talked about earlier, or you can just browse through my modular playlist. As always, smash that like, subscribe and bell button if you want to see more modular content from me. But that's it for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.